Hi, it's Nikki from Wildlings Forest School here, back with another tip on how to get your children outdoors playing safely. Today's tip is about playing outdoors with sticks. So a lot of schools and centres don't allow stick play because it's too dangerous or risky, but Wildlings Forest School, we are risky play advocates. We know that stick play allows uh, bodily, knowledge of bodily autonomy, so knowing how your body moves and your space around it gives you bodily confidence. Risk assessment, decision making, communication, negotiation, let alone stem and measurement and all the other things that go with it. So we do have guidelines around having stick play at forest school, but we allow it in nature play group, forest kindy and our holiday programs as well. Some of the guidelines we have include, first of all, choosing a stick that is no longer than your arm. So the reason that we do this is that most children don't develop their full peripheral vision till at least 12 years of age so they're not aware of how far that stick falls behind them and they might hurt their friends behind them. The next thing we do is uh, teach the children about blood bubbles. Now there's a whole other video on blood bubbles on our YouTube channel so go and have a look at that but just briefly a blood bubble is a space around you including your stick or your tool where you can't make your friends bleed. The next thing that we teach children is to walk, not run with their sticks. And while they're doing so, is to pop their thumb over the top of their stick. The reason we do that is that way they're trailing the stick behind them rather than running with their stick or walking with their stick. And they're also, if they do happen to fall in the unlikely circumstance that they do fall onto their stick and trip over, their thumb is covering it, which will protect their internal organs. So there are tips today on keeping children safe with stick play. Uh, one other thing, the most common question we get asked, do you allow stick fighting? Uh, we had a lot of conversation around this and a lot of risk assessing. Ultimately, we have let our children do it, but we make them sit down and negotiate the rules around stick play first. It's been some beautiful conversation and some really mature decisions made around stick play. And, and the imaginative play that has stemmed from that has been invaluable. So we're really comfortable with that decision. It really depends on your centre and the children at your centre, whether you allow it at yours. So that's our stick play advice. Join us again on YouTube or on our Facebook page for more outdoor play tips and tricks on how to keep your kids safe. Stay wild.